Welcome to the Department of Communication Studies, where faculty takes active roles in regional, national, and international professional communication organizations. Our community of scholars sustains a rich diversity of methodological, theoretical, and philosophical interests. Our mission is to excel in teaching, research, and service. We work with more than 30 in-residence graduate students, and we seek to create an environment that fosters opportunity, possibility, and creativity. Our graduate students enjoy a variety of assistantship opportunities. In addition to teaching Communications 101, the introductory core curriculum communication course for the university, graduate students often have the opportunity to teach courses such as Performing Culture, Persuasion, Business and Professional Communication, Small Group Communication, Communication Across Cultures, and Interviewing. We also sometimes offer research assistantships, administrative assistantships, such as Assistant Introductory Course Director, Undergraduate Director Assistants, and Speaker Center Director. When not involved in teaching and coursework, our graduate students often get involved on campus and in the community. We have an active graduate student RSO known as the Student Communication Organization. In the community, our graduate students also are involved in the Rainbow Cafe LGBTQ Center, the Women's Center, the Center of Empowerment and Justice, Racial Justice Coalition, the Warming Center, the Sunrise Movement, and the Southern Illinois Collaborative Kitchen. On the more academic side, our graduate students can often be found presenting their work at conferences across the country, including the National Communication Association Conference, the Central States and Southern States Communication Association Conferences, the Pettit, Jean, and Patty Pace Performance Festivals, and a variety of other academic performance venues. Our department also houses a performance laboratory, the Marion Kleinau Theater, for a performance studies scholarship, a professional seminar series, and teacher training workshops. The Marion Kleinow Theater, located on the second floor of the Communications Building, has been hosting performances by the department since the theater's founding in 1966 by Dr. Marion Kleinow. Back then, it was called the Caliper Stage, but it was renamed to honor Dr. Kleinow in 1996. When Kleinow founded the stage, she created a space for oral interpretation and group performance of non-dramatic literature. Today, the 110-seat theater continues that tradition and provides a state-of-the-art laboratory space for students and faculty to fully explore and practice performance as a method of scholarship. Both the Kleinau Theater and the department's program in performance studies create opportunities to refine skills and develop critical understandings of the role of performance in shaping society and culture. Each year, the theater hosts an active season which includes both solo and group performances in the areas of creative literary adaptations, original scripts, performance art, and ethnographic studies, among others. The Kleinau Theater is one of the most active and prestigious performance spaces in the country, drawing a diverse group of guest artists and scholars to its stage. Our department in the College of Liberal Arts offers graduate degrees in communication studies. Graduate students elect to specialize in one of four concentrations. First, gender, sexuality, and relational communication. This area examines the construction and representation of gender, sexuality, and interpersonal relationships from a variety of theoretical and methodological perspectives. Courses offered in this area explore and promote the viability of individual sexualities and relationships as powerful sites of cultural creativity, critique, and resistance. In concert with issues in class, race, language, and culture, this area focuses on topics as gender, social movements, feminist perspectives on pedagogy, spirituality, persuasion, conflict, sports, performance, and many more. Several courses encourage analysis and critique of media and discursive representations of gender, sexuality, and communication in relationships. The second is intercultural communication and pedagogy. Courses within this area focus on issues related to identity, intersectionality, power differentials, language, discourse and the politics of representation, post-coloniality, and globalization as these relate to the study of culture and communication. Courses focusing on pedagogy examine the multiple intersections of instruction and communication in a variety of educational contexts. 
They emphasize constitutive, theoretical, and methodological perspectives on teaching and learning. The third is performance studies. Performance studies considers historical and contemporary aesthetic communication in both everyday life and the heightened stage events more typically associated with the word performance. Everyday life performance coursework includes conversational, gender, identity, as well as performance in political contexts such as performance and the environment. Students combine theory and practice into an artistic, scholarly praxis by studying and embodying performance history related to these forms. Students have the opportunity to work with the faculty to create productions in our Kleinel Theater as a stepping stone by presenting their work at conventions, fringe festivals, and professional performance spaces. Fourth and finally, rhetoric and society. Coursework in this area prepares students for research and teaching that conceptualizes communication developed in several rhetorical traditions. The area embraces a broad conception of rhetoric that includes spoken, written, performative, visual, and digital modes of communication. This occurs in contexts both public and private, with particular emphasis on the roles public discourse plays in social movements and activism. The area focuses on interest in augmentation theory, pragmatic theories of communication, the rhetoric of inquiry, cultural studies, classical and contemporary rhetoric, public address, and rhetorical criticism. Hello, my name is OJ Duncan and I'm a PhD student in the Department of Communication Studies at Southern Illinois University Carbondale. I chose SIU for my PhD because not only are the faculty knowledgeable in a wide variety of subjects, but they make students feel like they belong. From the second I stepped foot into the department, I felt like I was home. Faculty and students in the department genuinely care about each other's well-being and support each other. I have many areas of interest, spanning organizational comm, intercultural comm, pedagogy, and gender and sexuality. The graduate program allows me to explore all of these interests and doesn't silo me into a certain specialty. Our department is incredibly active across campus, including being a part of Graduate and Professional Student Council, Graduate Council, and Graduate Assistance United, our grad student union. Opportunities to engage the larger Carbondale community are vast, including Rainbow Cafe LGBTQ Center, the Center for Empowerment and Justice, and Carbondale Racial Justice Coalition, including so much more. I hope to see you become a Saluki soon. Hi, my name is Maddie. I'm a master's student at SIU, originally from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. I'm also the Speaker Center Director and a graduate teaching assistant for the Communication Studies Department. I chose SIU because of the commitment the faculty has to their students and there was not another program like gender, sexuality, and relational communication when I was searching for the best program for my interests. When I came to visit, I fell in love with the community and culture the department prioritizes with their faculty, staff, graduate, and undergraduate students. I was able to meet some wonderful people during my visit who came to be some of my greatest friends here. The department works to be inclusive and learn from one another, to collaborate and grow together as a group of people. The classes are small and personal, so you get to know your colleagues and collaborate on projects, panels, and papers. One of my favorite experiences I've had in the program is my time volunteering and working at the Speaker Center. It's a great program that allows graduate assistants to further help our undergraduate students with their success. And in return, we're able to get to know our students beyond the confines of our classroom, whether virtual or in person. My favorite activities to do in Carbondale is to get out and take walks around the campus lake. It's so peaceful and beautiful when the leaves start to change color. Giant City Park is close to Carbondale and is another beautiful place to take a hike or walk around in any season. My favorite restaurant that I've experienced so far is definitely the Underground Public House. You have to get the Scots eggs every time. So where exactly is Carbondale? Carbondale is a city of 25,000 people in the southernmost tip of Illinois. This southern region of Illinois was formerly known as Little Egypt due to its geographic features, such as the Mississippi River and the floodplain similar to the Fertile Nile River Valley in Egypt. 
This is also where SIU gets his mascot, the Saluki, the do a dog breed originating in the Fertile Crescent region of the Middle East. What is there to do in or around Carbondale? Carbondale is located near many venues for outdoor activities, including some 14 parks in the immediate vicinity. These include the Crab Orchard National Wildlife Refuge, the Shawnee National Forest, Giant City State Park, Little Grand Canyon, and the Garden of the Gods Wilderness Area. These areas offer opportunities for hiking, boating, biking, and horseback riding. Five minutes south of Carbondale is the city reservoir Cedar Lake, which is open to kayaking and canoeing. The north access features several dramatic rock bluffs and secluded bays. Other lakes nearby include Little Grassy Lake, Crab Orchard Lake, and Kincaid Lake. Another more remote location is Cache River Swamp, the northernmost cypress swamp in North America. The Shawnee National Forest, close to Carbondale, is home to many wineries. The Shawnee Hills Wine Trail visits 12 vineyards in scenic settings, offering local wines and dining facilities. In addition to Southern Illinois University, the city has a variety of unique cultural institutions, such as regular concerts, theatrical productions, art and history exhibits. Also, we have a local theater and music venues like the Varsity Theater downtown, WDBX Community Radio for Southern Illinois, and the Big Muddy Independent Media Center, which hosts an annual film festival. Thank you all for listening, and we hope to see you as a future Saluki.